The Last Duel is directed by Ridley Scott and stars Matt Damon, Adam Driver, Ben Affleck, and Jodie Cormier. This film is the story of King Charles VI declaring that the knight Jean de Carouge settled his dispute with his squire by challenging him to a duel. I'm Jacob, that's Spencer, and we just watched this movie. So this film is the latest epic for Ridley Scott and this film is very much about the Rashomon effect and for those who don't know the Rashomon effect is just referring to a situation where the same story is told differently by people who were involved. So this film is split up into three acts with each act being a different perspective on the events leading up to the titular duel. Now for this story this was definitely a cool way of telling it and seeing the differences in each of the stories was interesting even if it didn't quite work for me entirely. The performances throughout the film are also great. When I first saw the trailers for the film I did get a good laugh out of Matt Damon and Ben Affleck in their makeup because they look pretty goofy. But once I was in the film, I did actually enjoy their performances quite a bit. Everybody does a great job in this film. It's really well shot and the battle scenes are awesome. This film is really brutal. Now, it's this makes it really difficult with this movie because so much is really well done in it. And I really want to be positive because there's a lot to love in it. My big issue with this film is in the length. They break the perspectives into three separate acts. So each one is about the same in length and covers most of the same events. Once we're at the third act, I felt that I had already seen this story multiple times and there wasn't anything really different that changed my whole perspective on, on the entire thing. There's nothing new or groundbreaking that comes out in the later act as much as just small little character moments, which are interesting, but I didn't find it that compelling for two and a half hours. This film is very similar to Rashomon, but the mistake it makes is it's two and a half hours long. Rashomon is eight minutes. Both stories cover multiple perspectives of the same event, but there is no fat to be cut in Rashomon. There is a lot that can be cut out of The Last Duel. And I think when they decided to do the three act breakup of the perspective, they kind of wrote themselves into a corner. To me, there's a better maybe two hour cut of this movie that could be cut together completely differently. The Last Duel is an interesting film. However, I can definitely agree with Jake on the length. The film is based off the 2004 book of the same name, which is based off the last official judicial duel in France. In 2015, it was announced that Francis Lawrence was looking to direct an adaptation of the book. However, nothing really came of that until 2019 when it was announced that Ridley Scott would direct. Throughout production, they used castles both in France and Ireland, and I thought they did a great job of immersing the viewers in medieval France. Overall, I enjoyed this movie and I thought it was well done. However, I would have cut down on the length. And I should add that the action scenes, even though they're few and far between, they are really well done. This film is really well crafted and full of great performances. It's over long and the second half just drags, making it feel like a slog by the end, which is sad because the climax is fantastic. This film really should have just been cut down a little bit and for that reason we're going to give The Last Duel a 6 out of 10. Meh. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe.